Alright dudes, here's my method for drawing a Varaki Yantra. This is a sample from a longer tutorial. I'll show you the basic geometry of the Yantra and if you want to watch the full class and draw the whole mandala, then come join me on Patreon. Alright, let's do it. So I'll set the radius of the compass to 4 centimeters, and we'll draw a circle right in the middle. And we're going to be drawing the seed of life. So to do that we just follow the line up to the top of the circle. We draw another circle. Move down to the next point where the circles cross. Get to the next point. And just keep working your way around so we got the seed of life I'm going to use these two points on the left and the right to find the horizontal line and make sure it goes through the middle okay and now we're going to use these six points in the seed of life to draw a hexagram a six pointed star so all we have to do is draw two triangles one pointed down and another one pointing up there's your hexagram and now we're going to draw another triangle in the center of this hexagon here to do that we have to draw a line from this point to this point and then from this point to this point. And now you can connect this intersection, all of these three, to make a triangle. And the final part of the symbol in the center is a circle. It's gonna be quite small, right in the middle of that triangle. So adjust your compass to this line here on the, the point where this line crosses the smaller triangle. So it's like that and draw a small circle inside. That's the symbol in the center finished. And now we're going to put the compass in the center and set it to the point where the seed of life, like the edge of the seed of life, crosses the vertical line. And we'll draw a circle around the seed of life. Now on the circle that we just drew, we're going to use these points these four points, north, east, south and west, to draw arcs of the exact same size. So we'll go pretty much right to the edge of the paper. And then we can use those points where the circles cross, where the arcs cross, to draw a square around the seed of life. So this, this yantra has eight petals around the outside of the symbol in the middle and then 16 petals going around the outside of those petals. It's a lot like the Sri Yantra. So even though the middle is divided into six, the outside is divided into eight. So we're gonna use these arcs, these intersections that we just made to divide it into eight if we connect this point to this point. But I'm not gonna go through the middle because we're done with the middle now. We don't need any more lines in there. So I'll just stop when I get to the center circle. And now your compass should still be set to this size. And now we're going to use those lines that we just made where they cross the circle. I'm going to use them to draw some more arcs. And I'm going to go outside of the square because we're going to need them a little later on. This is where you've got to really concentrate. We've got to use, do you see, so we've got the seed of life, yeah? You can see these petals. 
in the middle. Well, we've just made the same kind of pattern with the eight circles. So if you look close, you've got these petals right here. They go all the way around. That's what we're going to use to divide this further into 16. So I'm going to take that point. I'm going to go straight through the center to its opposite point. But again, we're only going to draw it. Draw the line outside of the center circle. Okay, now that's divided into 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So now I'm going to use those points that we just used. I'm going to use the compass with them. I'll set the compass from the center to the tip of those petals. And I'll draw a circle. There. And that's going to be the separator, the divider for the petals that are going to go around the outside. So we'll have the eight petals will sit inside the first ring and the 16 will sit inside the outer ring. They're a slightly different size. The eight petals are a bit bigger than the 16. So we can actually draw in the petals for the first ring. There's the eight petals. Now we're going to do the 16, but as you can see, this needs to be divided further. So I need to grab the compass again, and I'm going to set it back to the size of this circle here that meets the square. This is the circle that goes around the outside of the seed of life. And we used these points, didn't we? We used the 45 degrees, 90 degrees, all the way around. So we've got to use the ones that are in between those now and what I'm gonna do is just put an arc only on the outer ring going up and kind of just outside the square because we don't actually need it anywhere else so we move down to the next one so we skip one move to the next one do the same thing just an arc inside that ring going just outside so I'm going outside just because I'm gonna need this intersection here in a bit. And the last one. See these arcs here? That's the point that we need to connect to its opposite point. We only need to go in this ring right here, so there's no need to draw lines anywhere else. Alright, the outer ring is divided, you can use that to draw 16 petals. I'll draw them in. Okay, so that's the actual mandala part of the yantra done. So all we need to do now is make the gates. So we've already got this one square and all we need to do is use these intersections that are on the outside of the square. What we're going to do is connect that to its opposite and the same with all of them. But you only really need the line there and there. We can do the same on the opposite side. You'll see that's our gate. Everything can flow through there. We'll do the same on the left and the right. 
and then what I'm going to do is connect those two intersections together. It might be kind of hard to see the symbol through all this chaos, all these construction lines. That is the basic construction of the Yantra. Now I'll move on to inking the drawing. From this point on, you're free to get creative. Finish this mandala any way you like. Take your time with it, meditate on it, and yeah, just have fun. Thanks for drawing this with me. Namaste. Mm -hmm.